Hi everyone, welcome back to 51 GT3 Racing Academy. In the previous episodes, we have talked about the braking point and trail braking skills, which have already explained the cornering skills in detail. In this episode, we will talk about acceleration skills when cornering. First of all, let's explain what is the mid-corner phase. Generally speaking, when a car turns a corner, the following five operations are required. Full braking, trail braking, cornering, increased throttle, and full throttle. The mid-corner phase is when the car completes full braking and trail braking, and fully decelerates into a cornering stage. When the car enters the mid-corner phase, the lateral forces experienced are at their maximum. The driver needs to switch from the brakes to the accelerator, ready to accelerate out of the corners. When the car starts cornering, the weight of the car is transferred from the front to the rear and the outside. At this point, the outer tire bears more weight, which pushes the grip limit of the outer tire. Here, we use the circle of friction to explain the problem. What we need to understand is that the grip of a tire is limited, and we use the green circle to indicate the grip limit of the tire. Within the grip limit, the tire is controllable. If the grip limit is exceeded, the tire will lose control and the grip will be reduced. In the mid-corner phase, tire grip is used for both steering and throttle, and the required grip will be increased between the two. With a gradual increase in steering and throttle, the required grip also increases and the grip that a tire can exert must also be within a limit. If the weight transfer is not well controlled, it will cause the weight to be concentrated on the outer tire. And the inner tires do not distribute enough weight to exert the grip, so the grip of the whole vehicle will not be optimal. Therefore, we must try our best to control the weight transfer, so that the weight of the car is more evenly distributed on the four tires, so as to give full play to the grip of the whole car. Understanding the key to the mid-corner phase, we start with the following two aspects to introduce how to control the weight transfer. The first method is to control the steering wheel. In order to control the weight transfer from side to side smoothly, we need to turn the steering wheel smoothly so that the four wheels can fully exert their grip. If you turn the steering wheel too hard, the weight will be transferred out too quickly, causing the car to skid. The second method is to control the brake and accelerator pedals. This is a graph of the brake amp accelerator pedals in the mid-corner phase. The vertical axis represents how much force the driver applies to the pedals, and the horizontal axis represents the different pedals that are pressed on during that phase. Next, we can use this graph to show the correlation between the accelerator, brake, and vehicle weight transfer. We want to gradually reduce the pressure of the brake pedal until the brake pedal is completely released and then apply the gas smoothly and gradually until the acceleration is full. By controlling the accelerator and brake pedals in this way, the weight transfer of the car can be controlled as smoothly as possible, the weight of the front and rear wheels can be evenly distributed, and the grip of the whole vehicle can be exerted. Releasing the brakes and pressing the accelerator too quickly in a corner will make the front of the car bounce in an instant. If you're driving a rear-wheel drive car, front wheels will not have enough grip, causing the car to skid. If you're driving a front-wheel drive car, the car will roll off the track. There are two things to note here. If you are driving a front-wheel drive vehicle, the weight is forward because the engine is in the front. We need to accelerate a little in mid-corner to shift the weight back a little to keep the rear wheel grippy. If you are driving a rear-mounted rear-wheel drive vehicle, the weight is behind because the engine is in the back. We need to brake a little in mid-corner to shift the weight slightly forward and keep the front wheel grippy. Let me teach you a method to judge whether the weight transfer control is in place. If you hear a tire rattling sound in the mid-corner, it means that the outside tire is breaking its grip limit and the weight is shifting too quickly. Let me recommend the best daily practice method to you. Start by visualizing the vehicle weight transfer. We can put half a bottle of water in the car and practice weight transfer by watching the fluid level fluctuate. During each turn, operate the steering wheel as smoothly as possible. At first, you may experience strong fluid level fluctuations due to excessive steering. What we have to do is to control the weight transfer of the vehicle by constantly practicing to make the fluctuation of the fluid level as small as possible and corner. Also try to control the brakes and accelerator as smoothly as possible while waiting for traffic lights. Releasing the brakes or stepping on the accelerator too quickly will cause the fluid level to fluctuate strongly and the body will be accompanied by a noticeable nod and lift. Also through continuous practice, when braking and starting at the traffic light, control the fluctuation of the liquid level as small as possible, so that there will be almost no nod or lift. 
that's all for today's episode. If you want to learn more about the technology of racing cars, let us know in the comments section. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.